Hello YouTube and fellow DC Comic fans! I'm Kelly OneShot, and this is the Post-Crisis Podcast. And today, we're going to talk about The Flash number 81 from DC Comics, written by Joshua Williamson. Okay, so we know that since the Flash War, Hunter Solomon used Barry Allen and Wally West to destroy the Force Barrier, and it unleashed the Strength Force, the Sage Force, and the Still Force. Each had its own respective user, and actually because of these different forces, the Speed Force was dying. And so the Black Flash came to try to kill the different Force users to restore the Speed Force and grant it its own survival. He actually does manage to kill the Sage Force user, and the Strength Force user is being hidden inside of the Strength Force itself. And meanwhile, Hunter Zolomon actually kidnapped the Sage Force user, and he managed to steal some of his powers. So he possesses a little bit of each Force, including the Speed Force. So so he is like this perfect bearer of all the different uh, forces that are going on in the universe. So the Black Flash is trying to kill and destroy Hunter Zolomon to again restore order. And it's here that we've seen in the last issue, Barry got stabbed and kind of sacrificed himself a little bit to save Hunter Zolomon from the Black Flash because Hunter was going to sacrifice himself to the Black Flash but actually try to kill the Black Flash to try to make sure none of the Flashes could ever have to die again, that if he kills death, everybody will live, that he can prevent further death from destroying the Black Flash. But Barry can't allow this to happen because if that happens then the Speed Force itself might die. But if Hunter dies, who knows what the Black Flash could do after this. He's kind of lost control when he's going on his own so it's here that barry actually protects hunter and he uh, knock, knocks out the black flash with a little bit of a speed force energy attack here and he's trying to work with um hunter zolomon here but hunter's trying to tell him that he can stop all the flashes from dying that this is his destiny that this is what he was meant to do that he needs to do this but it's actually here that barry shows hunter something that he discovered by sitting in the forever force which is um a, a power that hunter's been able to tap into um, ever since his accident on the tread the treadmill way back when and we actually see a piece of history that all along there was two sets of uh, fingerprints on the gun that the clown used to kill Hunter Zolomon's mentor which sent him down this path to become uh, Hunter Zolomon to become Zoom and we actually see that the person who gave the clown the gun was Eobard Thorn. Because the clown never really used guns before, but Eobard Thorne seemingly has been manipulating everybody. Barry Allen included, you know what I mean? And now we actually find out that he manipulated the events that led to Hunter Zolomon becoming Zoom. And why would he want that? So this revelation kind of shocks Hunter to his core. And it's here that Barry says, we don't have time, we need to run. We need to make sure that nobody dies, so we need to restore the force barrier. And he's like, Hunter, you helped take it down. You knew how to destroy it, so you must know how to restore it. We actually then go back to Iron Heights, where the rogues are looking for something in the rubble of Iron Heights. And we see Avery Ho and Wallace West are actually here trying to monitor the rogues from afar but not interact and make sure that they don't actually kill anybody but it's here that golden glider actually captures the two kid flashes here both avery and wallace and it's here that the rogues are starting to attack the two young speedsters we then go back and we see that barry and hunter are running and it's here that hunter reveals that only he knows how to repair the force and the damage that he's been that's been uh, destroyed here in the force barrier that because he has all four force powers that it's up to him and that he then kind of looks in through um, for the forever time and he sees uh, a young Wally West and he knows that he has to sacrifice himself to destroy the force barrier and Barry's like what are you doing I won't let you do this but Hunter's convinced that only he can do this that it's up to him that he wishes he could have been friends with Wally forever but he has to sacrifice himself because that's that's what flashes do right they sacrifice themselves to save the day so he runs and he uses the power of all the forces and he actually restores the force barrier but this pisses off the black flash and he actually attacks uh barry here in this situation and he's lashing out at barry but of all of a sudden as he attacks him something happens here and it happens to all the flashes and the kid flashes here that exist right now in this time zone as the barrier restores we see the black flash just get attacked by this white light and he disappears away from uh barry but it's wallace reveals that something Something weird is happening with the speed force right now and we see all three of our uh, speedsters being attacked by this energy here because obviously Bart is off into another world and uh, Wally is actually on this cosmic journey throughout the dark multiverse and uh, 
curing the dark multiverse but then we actually go to central city where we see iris and we see the still force user and even though some of his powers were stolen from hunter zalman he does still possess some of his powers and he actually looks into the sky and he says something's wrong here the black flash is gone but something is happening and they wonder where the flashes are we then actually see Perpetua, who is the creator of the multiverse, she you need to read Justice League to know more about Perpetua. I've covered that series pretty thoroughly, but she is awakened into her full power at the end of the last week's Justice League, so she's actually um, spreading her changes and she's spreading her influence throughout the multiverse as we speak. And it's here that the Sage Force user, I'm sorry, the uh, Still Force user can kind of tap into all of this and he feels that something's happening, that the Speed Force is broken, and that something is about to happen. The very multiverse is. Um, um, just like unraveling and it's changing that everything is coming to an end here and then we actually see that they find Wallace and they find Avery in the rubble here and uh, Iris is wondering what's happening she can't believe what's going on here and it's here that the rogues reveal that they have um, bought an into the Lex Luthor's plan and this whole doom winning thing but now he truly believes and we see the rogues standing over Iris Wally and Avery and the still force user and we see the sig sigil of doom risen in the sky as Perpetua is changing things throughout DC Comics history we're probably gearing up for a big crisis event I'm looking forward to it this book's been tremendous uh, Joshua Williamson has been working pretty good with James Tenney and, and Scott Snyder in their three respective Justice League's books and in their own uh, individual titles as well. And we're really building this story up to something big. And I think it's going to be like the, the end of DC Rebirth essentially as we get ready for 5G, which I'm not looking forward to whatsoever because I love DC Rebirth. I love this continuity and I love everything that's come out of it for the most part. Not everything's going to be perfect, but I love this Joshua Williamson run. It's been tremendous so far and we're gearing up. And we're going to find out um, why uh, Eobor Thawne set up Zoom down this path to become Zoom. And I've been wondering what's been happening with Eobor Thawne ever since the end of the button when he saw this light. And he was like, oh my god, you. And he, he kind of like was praying for his life here because he felt like he was up against this force that he himself could never handle. And he was scared. And then we seen him get killed, essentially. And then he came back or whatever. But I want to see what happens. I can't wait to see what happens going forward from here. This is a really great issue. This is a lot quicker of a video as I'm going to start working on next week's titles right now. This is Sunday, like the 27th or something, or it's the 26th, whatever. Um, I know this book came out last week. That's why I'm doing a quicker video just to cover it and to keep going on with my Flash series. Either way, I'm your host, Kelly OneShot. As always, you can check this video out here on YouTube.com slash OneShotTheory. You can check my stuff out as well on ComicBookLegion.com, where we have other podcasters, reviewers, written reviews, news, updates, theories. Check us out, ComicBookCorpse.com. A lot of great guys over there, and I'm over there as well. And as always, I'm your host, Kelly OneShot. You take care, have a great day, and goodbye!